Welcome back to the channel where we discuss everything low code, no code, AI, and automation. In today's video, we're gonna build a small app that takes a YouTube URL and recommends long tail keywords, as well as a new SEO friendly title. We're gonna be using a generative AI tool called Create to build this. We'll have it up and running in just a few minutes. You don't need any prior experience. And by the end of this, you'll be able to build your own functional apps using this tool. If you like this kind of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments in with any questions. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos like this one. Okay, let's dive in and check it out, see how this all works. All right, let's go ahead and build an app. We are signed into our Create account and we're using their free plan to build this app today. So anything what we're doing, you can certainly do at home without paying for their pro plan. Their pro plan is quite reasonable and you get a lot of extra features. So I highly recommend you check it out. I'll put a link in the show notes but we're using their free plan and we don't have any projects. So let's go ahead and click this button up here, create new project or just new project. What's gonna happen is it's gonna spin up their builder. Basically, we have a few different things. We have this visual preview area where we can see it in desktop and mobile or full screen. Over here on the right, we have an edit code button where once the app is being created, we'll be able to edit our code, but there's not much here right now. And then most of the magic happens over here on the right. This is where we prompt to build our app using natural language. Some tips, start small, add more details. You can paste in a screenshot if there's a site design that you like, and it'll perfectly recreate the UI. It's super cool. We'll probably show you some of that. And then if you hit the slash, you can integrate with all kinds of different apps, which is super cool. Everything from AI to Google search, to PDF parsers, to scrapers, to charts and sports data, movies and TVs. There's a ton that you can do. You can even add a custom integration or request a new integration if you would like. Also, they have components, they have functions, they have a database. I believe it's in beta at the time of this video where you can create and store data in a database. You also have your site assets here. So there's a ton that you can do. We're not gonna touch on all of that, of course. We're gonna go ahead and build this app and try to get it up and running and functional here in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out here by putting in a prompt to get this app kicked off. And I'm simply just gonna say, build an app that takes a YouTube URL and recommends keywords based on the video title. Super clear, let's see what happens. Right when you hit generate, you'll notice right away that it's gonna build some of the React code and it's gonna show you that, but then it's gonna flip over to what the front end might look like. Again, you can change the front end, you can iterate on a design, you can paste a screenshot. In their pro, you can go pixel perfect, but this looks quite nice right out of the gate. This is a pretty straightforward app, but it does a great job with more complex apps as well. Looks like this is finished, so we can see that it did some things for us, it set up the code, and it also has an API called Google, where we'll have to put it in our API key. Some styling of things, but basically it's just set up some core functionality there of our app, but it's figured out that it's gonna need a Google API call, which is super cool. Let's go ahead and hide the code and we'll go ahead and type our next prompt and you'll see that it's almost just like a doc and your prompts just stay in order. So let's go ahead and add our new one. Let's say use, we'll hit slash and we'll say this AI for the AI. And I was actually gonna tell it to use the Google API, but it's already figured it out. So I'm not gonna go ahead and say anything there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll have it extract, the app should extract the video ID from the URL submitted. So. If we look at a YouTube video, there's this video ID here in the URL. I'm gonna have it extract that video ID because we may need it, we may not need it, but it'll be nice to have and it'll be good to show that it can do that. Let's go ahead and hit generate just to go ahead and get an updated version of our app. And the generations just take a minute or two. And as you can see here, the regex, I can never say that word, but it's basically looking for the URL here, this regress expression. So. Super cool. And we still have our API call. All right, so that's cool. Looks like we're moving along here. Our visual front end still looks the same. Let's go ahead and test our app. So if I go ahead and hit share, we can actually view this page, which is a mock-up page that you could use in the create community, but you can also publish it to a custom URL. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So you can hit publish. If you're under pro plan or their business plan, you can use a custom domain, but for free, you can use one of their sort of staging domains. So I'm just gonna say YouTube demo app NCD. Okay, claim URL and continue. Looks like everything's up to date. So we actually see this live on the web and share this URL with someone. Now, before we get too far, this won't work until we actually put in our real API key. So let's go ahead and back to the edit code. And right here where it says your YouTube API key, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put in my key. Now, I will change this before publishing the video. So don't try to steal my YouTube Google API key. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update, publish. Looks like everything's up to date. Let me just make sure I hit publish changes. All right, looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, here's our app. Let's take a video, share, copy the URL, come back here, paste it in and hit get keywords. Okay, cool. So it actually found the video title from our URL. That's what our video is actually titled today. And then it's recommending five keywords that might improve the SEO. So founder newsletter, startup marketing, email list building, and so on and so forth. So this is very functioning at a basic level. Let's keep going. All right, let's head back here. We'll hide our code and let's add a, another prompt here. So let's just say, can we add the SEO score of the return keywords and a brief explanation of why the keywords will perform well? Okay, let's go ahead and hit generate again. Should just take a second. All right, so our expression is still there to get the URL. It's gonna flip over to the front end here, but we can always toggle back. We'll have to put our YouTube API key in here again. We could probably store that so we don't have to paste it every time. But for now, for the purposes of this demo, I think that's absolutely fine. Let me go ahead and put in the API key again here before I forget. Okay, cool. I'm gonna update this. Let's hide the code. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it again before we move on to the next step to make sure that this works. Oh, we're out of date, so let's publish. Okay, up to date, awesome. So let's go ahead and open this up. Copy the URL here. And let's hit analyze. Okay, so check this out. We got a much better response this time with our additional prompt. So not only do we have the video title, but we've got an SEO score with like color coded tags, which is super cool for the stronger SEO scores. And we have a brief explanation as to why this keyword is recommended. So this keyword directly captures the main topic of the video and is highly relevant for the target audience, 85 out of 100. Super, super cool. This is looking really nice. This is probably something I would use myself. Okay, so let's go ahead back here to our app. And what would be really helpful is to have it suggest a new video title for us based on all of the keywords as an aggregate so that it can write us a new title. So let's go ahead and try that. I have another prompt here set up. So let's just say above the list results, suggest a new title incorporating the best performing keywords. Okay, let's go ahead and generate. I'm gonna close out of these why this is working just to consolidate things here. Okay, so it's rewriting this app based on my new prompt. We have my expression. We have the prompt sort of updating here. And let's head back to the code again. Again, probably not the most efficient way, but I'm gonna paste in my API key here again. Okay, update this. It looks like all the code's generated. Let's go ahead and hit publish. It's out of date, publish changes. I think it just takes a minute to publish, which makes sense. It's pushing all the code. And then this will just magically say that it's up to date. Okay, up to date, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and view the live site. Let's use the same video here. Paste in, there we go, video title. All right, and check this out. We've got the recommended keywords and then we have a new title based on these keywords. So it took in our suggestions and it incorporated it and built this to our app. This is becoming actually quite useful and it's looking really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to our project and let's just do one more thing. I really wanna show you how you can change the style by providing, create a screenshot. So it'll basically style your app based on a screenshot that you provided. This can be something super complex, like you could give it Reddit or YouTube and it would just recreate the whole UI. I've tried it, it works very well, but you could also do something very simple like this. So let's go ahead and hit add image. And I have here this really basic like search bar image because that's what we're doing here. And let's just see if it can recreate the UI based on this image that I provided. Recreate the UI based on the image provided. 
All right, and we'll hit generate. Let's see what happens here. All right, and it showed us the back end, of course, and now it's gonna go ahead and build us a new front end, which is actually looking quite similar right here. Let's just go ahead and try to add the image by itself without much instruction and see what happens. Sometimes you have to try twice. It's not hallucinating, but it's not perfect. So if something doesn't work, you might just have to give it another try or phrase it differently to see if you can get a different result. Okay. So I just don't think it had captured my screenshot yet because this is working exactly how I would expect it to work. So it recreated the sort of like front end based on the screenshot exactly, which may not be perfect for our use case, but I just want to show you how it would work. Let's just let this finish building. You can see the demo here, just the build. Once it's done though, what we'll be able to do is just demo the app with this UI, but everything is working as expected. What I'll do is I'll share a link to this project so you can clone it or use it if you would like. Also, I will share a link to create so that you can check it out. Super powerful tool. This is definitely the future of app building. And I think there's a lot more coming from them for things that you can do with this tool to make it super, super powerful. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos like this one. Thanks so much.